Hello, everyone. Welcome to Best of IP Mat series. Now, this is a question that was asked in IP Mat 2022 in the short answer section. Let us see how to answer this one. There are 50 distinct positive integers to be chosen such that highest is 100. The average of the largest 25 integers exceeds the average of the remaining integers by 50. Then the maximum possible value of the sum of all the 50 integers is. There are a lot of pieces of information here. Let's start with the first one. There are 50 integers which are distinct. The average of the largest 25 integers. Stop there. And he says the highest among them is 20, 100. So let me start with 100 and work backwards to consider the 25 integers where highest is 100. So 100, 99, 98, so on till 76. Now, when we have a set of consecutive numbers, we know very well that the average will simply be the middle value. Now, the middle value out of these 25 integers is obviously the 13th integer. So, meaning the 88th number is the average, which indeed is 50 more than the average of the remaining 25 integers. So I understand that the average of the remaining 25 integers is 50 less than 88, that is 38. Going by the same logic that in a set of consecutive 25 integers, the middle value will be the average. I can consider that 38 is the middle number and write down 12 integers before that and after that to get 25 integers with an average of 38. Meaning 12 integers after 38 will go on till 50 and 12 integers before 38 will start from 26. Now the question is maximum possible value of sum of all 50 integers is now, what is the sum of the first 25 integers? Average into number of integers. And the sum of the remaining 25 integers is average into number of integers, which is equal to 25 into 88 plus 38. Now, 80 plus 30 is 110, 8 and 8 is 16, so 126. Now, to make the calculation easy, I can write 25 as 100 by 4 into 126, which gives us 3150. So, though the question seems to be very difficult with lot many possibilities, a stepwise approach from one point to the other using the fundamental understanding of averages would have made it possible to solve this question in limited time. Now, as regular practice, I will display a replica question now, which we want you guys to try. And please post the answers in the comment section.